Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, Jason and I are heading over to Huntington State Park. Um, we've hiked that area, that trail, uh, plenty of times before. This time, though, I got my mountain bike and I am trying out the new bike. So I'll be mountain biking today about two hours. Um, so I'll see you at the trail. So we're on the trail now and I don't know if the camera angle is what the camera angle looks like. Hopefully it's okay, but I am running the Marin Wildcat Trail 5 and what I can do is, I'm going to keep riding this a little bit further down and tell you more about it. I just want to see how well it handles the trail as this is one of this is the second time I've ridden a mountain bike, actually. Uh, the first time I rode a mountain bike was in outside of Bryce Canyon Park, uh, called trails called Thunder Mountain. So that was my first time ever riding a mountain bike. And I know for those of you who are experienced, mountain bikers are probably like, what on earth were you thinking? <laughs> All right, here's some. Okay, handle that one. Ooh, that was fun. I'm hoping I didn't get a flat. So far, so good. Whoa. Oh, that was fun. Checking my rear tire. Okay, so far so good. Oh, I didn't start the ride, darn it. I gotta test this out on climbs. It's a pretty heavy bike. morning. I already see a couple of mountain bikers here, so 
they're probably a little bit more experienced than I am. So this trail is known for its mountain biking trails. A lot of mountain bikers come here. Ooh. Oh, muddy. And it's really a small trail, but this is a good for myself who is a beginner. Good for me to try out. I'm just hoping that I don't get flatted because I forgot my pump at home. Morning. And uh yeah, I forgot my pump and I actually found a flat yesterday, which is weird because uh, it's, I only ridden it in my yard. Okay, let me just pause here. morning. Hopefully you guys can see this. I think I need to raise my seat up a little bit. I want to go find Jason. Thank you. 
this terrain easier. I definitely need to raise my seat up a little bit. I knew I'd find you. Can you um, hold this for a second, the bike? Because I need to raise the uh, seat up a little bit. It's still a little too low. I know I was. I got to to that rocky part, you know, coming down uh -huh. that trail that we were on. And I was like, oh my God, but I rode through it. Oh, nice. And I checked my tire. I'm like, oh my God, I hope I didn't, I didn't uh, mess with my tire, but I didn't, at least not for now. Okay, guys, I am going to introduce you to my new friend here. Um, this is the Marin Wildcat Trail 5. Um, it is women specific. I believe the men's version of this is the Bobcat. This is just a few things, a few basic stuff I want to go through. It is a one by, uh, so it is a 32 uh, in the front and an 1142 in the back. The fork is made by Suntour. Um, most of the components here are by Marin. Um, so far, I've really liked the, the I, I'm really liking the ride. The only downside was yesterday. Um, I went to check on the bike just to make sure everything was working uh, up to par and um, I found a flat. And so the only time that I have ridden this bike was in our yard on grass. So I don't know how the flat came about. I had to fix it. Um, I didn't have at the time spare tubes. I do have spare tubes now. Um, hopefully nothing happens in the trail there if I go slow enough. Honey, I'm gonna come around. I wanna see if I can climb this. Yeah, buddy.
Oh man, I'm really missing clips. Reason for me not having clips on today is because one, I wanted to try. Anyway, I tried ordering the pedals, but they were out of stock. And so I can't wear the shoes without the pedals. I'm looking to get the Crank Brothers uh, candy one. Let me know what you think of that pedal. Heads up. Morning. Morning, Morning again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dim here in the trail so I can't really tell what areas are rocky. Okay. I have to say shifting up or shifting to the low gear is a little hard. You need some serious thumb power for it. And this is going to be a gnarly climb. Heads up. Morning. Morning. It's supposed to be a let me climb up ahead here. I might have to walk it. power meter on this. And I'm kind of debating on whether I want to get power meter because they're expensive and all of the stuff that I have on this channel it's bought with my own hard-earned money. So I'm not sure if I want to put a power meter. And if I did, there's a less expensive uh, option, and which is the Velocomp, the PowerPod by Velocomp. Oh, I should probably go a little easy. <laughs> Anyway, debating on whether I should get a power meter. I am just the only metric I am currently measuring at the moment is heart rate. So there's a trail here. I'm going to try the mountain bike specific trails in a minute in a minute. Once I find, so this trail is neat because it has many geologic features and I'm not sure if I can find it. Uh, 
Ah, there it is. Here it is. Split rock. And I always, whoever visits Huntington, I always point them to that. So here are some single track. Oh. Oh. Not good. We got a tree down. As I'm making my way towards it. Bummer. So. That's. I'm going to have to turn around. No big deal. I actually wanted to check this trail out, but too bad. I'll out to a random person up ahead of me. It looks like him. Jason. It's so freaking hard. I went up the, that hill twice already. Oh, yeah. And those rocky parts. Yeah. So hard. I was like, I got to the top and I was going to keep going up. I'm like, I don't know. All right, I can't, I can't go over that. I don't know if I can. Uh, I'm going to. No thanks. Yeah. Oh, this is not. I am going to end up in the water. Nope. Good morning.
going at a comfortable 4.6 miles per hour. Just waiting for Jason to come up. Um, I might actually try going down the trail again and back up that same uh, hard packed road that you just saw me uh, climbing. So what I'm going to do is just go back out again and then come back up. So hopefully um, that'll be about the same time that Jason uh, comes up uh, and gets to the car. Back in the car, we're heading back home now. In case you're wondering what Jason did while I was riding, he actually uh, did, he walked the trail and he, we were just talking about how um, he's starting to um, jog a little bit and getting that motion started um, because it's been a while since he's actually um, ran since his surgery last year with, uh, in his, to his knee. So, um, Overall, the ride was so much fun. I was telling Jason that I had such a great time out there in the trails, just shredding the trails. I did not eat dirt today, at least not yet. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, got a good workout out of it with that climbing and just the extra choppy, chunky terrain um, that I was on. It was, it made it a lot of fun and it made it challenging and um, I got my fix with being out in nature and uh, still being able to ride a bike but yeah no I, I, I definitely I had a lot of fun doing it and one of the things that I think I definitely will do is get that clipless pedals hopefully they'll have it in stock um, and that way I can um, you know I can feel more confident riding the, the chunky parts of the trail so yeah I um, I that's just my first impression of the bike uh, a little hard to shift on the lower gears I feel like my thumb was getting a little bit of a workout from doing that um, shifting on the higher gears was no problem so I'll have to that's I'm getting used to um, it, it definitely feels like a little bit like the Claris um, drivetrain with the shifting I mean it just feels a little bit like that um, but uh, it did its job and I was able to climb those steep uh, rocky parts and uh, didn't get a flat uh, and yeah hopefully I can do more trails uh, when I get some when I you know get somebody to ride with. Hopefully you guys liked that video. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.